You help free Shinnok, Devora. To achieve Kronika's vision for the Kai team. That vision died with her. Round one, fight. Hey, what's going on everybody? Jay Lee's here, and today we finally get our hands on Nightwolf. He's been out for about an hour, so I'm going to go over a basic overview with combos and things that you could be doing with Nightwolf to make you a better player. So, as far as what you see on the screen currently, you have his specials, which he can shoot a projectile, which is pretty good, not super fast. You can meter burn it, alright, so notice that when you meter burn it, uh, you are able to get three hits, and the hits are high, mid, high. All right, so that's important to keep in mind because the last hit uh, can be crouched, all right, because it is a high. Uh, you also have the reflect, which reflects projectiles. You can hold it, all right, or you can keep it real short, just like this. You also have the tomahawk, all right, so rising tomahawk. You can cancel into that. It does launch. And we'll get into combos with that later. Uh, you have the buff, which this increases his damage. You can also meter burn it, all right, and make him even stronger. And then you have the Rhino Charge. And the Rhino Charge actually has a crushing blow linked to it. When you whiff the first portion and meter burn it, you actually get a crushing blow, which does launch or go into combos. You can see here I can follow up uh, with attacks in order to extend the combo off of that. So let's talk about a basic game plan with Nightwolf. Now, one thing that I didn't mention, you can actually use defensive meter to cancel your projectile. Now, this projectile is not the fastest, but it's good enough to force your opponent to have to respect it and to possibly do something stupid or that they normally wouldn't do when they try to approach you. Now, because of this, you're able to utilize the forward 1-2, which is a mid-starter, and it's rather fast, and this controls a lot of space. This gives Nightwolf a really good opportunity to control space, as well as a whiff punisher uh, with the special move, the Rhino Charge. So that's basically your game plan. I feel like Nightwolf is best used in the mid-range to far range, and forcing your opponent to do dumb things, controlling space, getting whiff punishes and pressure pressure with forward uh, one two i feel like that's going to be his best bet now forward one two the thing that's so good about it i can visually see with my eye whether the hits connect or they don't if they connect you go right into the tomahawk all right if it's on block you just don't go into anything all right so if they were to block that string forward one two it's only minus seven on block all right so we're in a good situation at that point where they're going to probably have to down one uh they can't really uh full combo punish me in most situations so because of that we're in a good spot all right so we're able to stay safe if we do go in in a situation and they happen to block all right so let's talk about pokes and nightwolf's fastest punisher so the stand one is going to be as sta as fast as punisher you can Hit it three times and then go into uh, the axe rise. So it looks like that. All right, so you are able to get some pretty good punishes. Seven frames, seven frame down one, ten hits of advantage. So this does jail into stand one. All right, so keep that in mind as well. So off of your uh, down one poke, you will be able to jail into your stand one. So you don't necessarily uh, need to use a mid. Um, you can, however, use the forward one because it's only 13 frames of startup. So you can use the forward one as well, which is a mid. But just keep that in mind, you have options. His down three is his furthest reaching poke. It actually reaches further than the down four. All right, so you can see I'm able to hit, not able to hit. Let's see, let me, uh, let me back her up into the corner just to demonstrate it. So I am able to hit, I am able to hit, not able to hit, but I can hit. All right, so I know that my down three is my, my furthest reaching poke. Uh, just to take uh, a look at the numbers here, it's eight frames of startup, 13 hit advantage, minus six on block. Uh, the down four 
is nine frames of startup and minus five on block. All right, so the down three is probably your best longer range poke. Uh, down four is not terrible. Uh, you can use it if you want to, uh, but I'm gonna stick with mostly down three, down one. His uppercut is really good. If you notice um, the ax, it goes up into the air. It's uh, really good for anti-airs. It reminds me a lot of Jade's down two. All right, so that's a really good way to knock your opponent out of the air as far as anti-airs go. Now, one of the cool things also about Nightwolf is the buff in Projectile Wars. So because he has that buff, you notice that his damage increases on his projectile. Because of that, he's able to, at times, get the advantage in projectile wars and trades. And you can set up combos and things to make sure that you have the buff. And you can end combos pushing your opponent away, putting the buff on, getting your space, and zoning out. If you wanted to play against somebody like Liu Kang or Jackie or somebody that really thrives on the inside, that might be the best way to end your combos. So we're going to take a look at some combos and some basic stuff uh, right here moving forward in the video as well as ways to set up your buff. Alright, so there you go. A pretty good breakdown for day one. Nightwolf, we got some combos, we got some game plans, we got some things going here, an anti-air with the down suit, we got things rolling. If you have any questions or anything to add to the video, be sure to leave it down in the comment section so other people can also benefit from your knowledge as the character is new, but hopefully this gets you off to a great start. As always, if you like the content, be sure to click that like button and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell so you get notified whenever I post new videos. So that's it. It's Jay Glee signing out. Thanks for checking in and continue to game strong.